Hey everybody, Boris Nasser, BK Force. Welcome to the crosses section from May 29 to June 2nd of 2017. And the crosses actually this week look very interesting. There are a couple of very, very strong setups that I want to talk about. And I think I'm going to just jump right into them and then we'll go through the charts. First and foremost, um, we'll sort of start from the weakest to the strongest in my opinion. Odd yen looks very interesting to the downside. Um, yen has really not shown a lot of strength. Um, and Aussie looks like it's ready to, to uh, curl over. And then of course we have um, the Tuesday retail sales, which could be something that could push us to the lower side. So 84, 82 is the uh, resist support area here. And you can see the, uh, the pair curling over. I'll show it to you in a second. Pound Swiss is probably one of the strongest signals we have. This, the, I like the short pound trade and pound Swiss is really showing some very, very strong momentum to the downside. 26 is the, is the resist, 24 is the support, very, very close support here. It look, looks like it's ready to break uh, to the downside. And then odd Kiwi, the relative strength of the Kiwi continues. And again, this is sort of a, a relative weakness trade on the Aussie. If the um, retail numbers come in weak, the odd Kiwi really has a chance to break the 105s. If we look at the charts, let's just sort of go backwards. Here's the odd Kiwi. You can see it's a nice big volatility candle, a big breakdown to the downside, took out the support over here. Um, there is some support here sort of into this area of around 103, 104. But that's a good 100 points away. So as a continuation trade, this looks very, very uh, promising as we go forward. Um, now, taking a look at pound Swiss, same kind of a signature, very strong downward move here. Now, it's already had a clearly a very big, big distribution from 130, 130, 100, but still, we are, the only the only thing that, that sort of makes me hesitate about uh, shorting this trade right now is that there is clear support here at this 124 level, but the extension here, if the support is broken at 124, the fall can be as, as, as steep as down to 123, 1, uh, uh, 12250. Uh, so, this very, very v -shaped, inverse V-shaped um, uh, trade looks looks quite good on a momentum basis. And the fact that we've had this big volatility breakdown here today suggests there's at least 30, 40 points of continuation uh, starting Sunday, Monday morning. So um, that's a good look, I think, as, as a start, start of the week trade. Now, last, let's take a look at the Aussie yen trade. Um, which again is a relative weakness on the Aussie part, but also relative weakness on the on the yen trade. It's not quite as clear. You don't have a strong volatility move here. But what is interesting here is it's clearly a very big distribution around 84, and we are starting to roll over here. Um, this uh, big move to the downside, this was a yen cross move that we saw a couple of weeks ago. We retraced all the way out to about 84 and coming right back down. It looks like we want to test the 82s. So this is a slow momentum, but nevertheless, interesting possibility for sort of a low volatility way of trading Aussie to the downside with 82 in view and 84 being your stop. So those are the best ideas I have for the week. Uh, certainly pound Swiss as, as a momentum trade could be very, very interesting. Um, and if we do get the confirmation that the Australian consumer seems to be um, um, retreating, that really should weigh on the Aussie going forward. And I think um, on a relative basis, it could be a good trade for a whole week as we go forward next week. Wish you guys the best luck, the best of trading. Borscht Lossberg, over and out.